Hello there, welcome to tonight's examination. We have a range of tests to run through. Things from looking inside the mouth, inspecting the ears, and checking the function of the eyes. So, starting with eyes, I'm going to first inspect the eyelashes, looking for the general direction they're pointing in. So we're going to look for trichiasis, madurosis, any polyosis, or any scales at the base of the lashes. So let me bring some light into the area. And come a little closer. So first up, upper row of the right. signs of trichiasis. We have a higher quantity of lashes on the upper margin usually. And now for the lower margin. No signs of any madurosis, upper and lower. Polyosis is negative. Definitely now trichiasis. Okay, just coming from the fellow side for the left. Signs of deep pigmentation. Polyosis and certainly now blepharitis. And now scales at the base of the lashes. And for the lower set. very clean and also I note both sides now immediate threat of my barmium gland dysfunction excellent let's make some notes on the lashes or to take some thorough written notes tonight We now to any pathology, I will illustrate that on your record. So nil trichiasis, nil madurosis, and nil polyosis. Lash is clean. No signs of any debris there. Okay, let me introduce 20 dioptolens with some additional light. Have a little look at the conjunctival surface. So the lens won't touch the eye. It's going to be at a distance of about 11 millimeters from the eye. Just reduce the light for you. And bring it to there. Excellent. Checking the hyperemia there. Probably a grade one. And no signs of any conjunctival degeneration. Certainly not trigium pinguecula. Just look up to the ceiling. Okay, and look down. Just got to angle the light and lens. Good. All 
cells are now signs of any retention cysts. Okay, let's move on to your left. Low-grade pinguicular on the nasal conjunctival surface, temporal side negative, hyperemia 0.5, just look up and look down. So just watch your ultraviolet light direct exposure on the ocular surface. We don't really want that pinguicular or fat growth to enlarge at all. So that I'm going to illustrate on the record. Maybe take an image of that for you as well. Just that left pinguicular nasal side, around two millimeters in diameter. And I'll just illustrate that there, and we'll have a little look at that when you next come into the clinic for a comparison. ocular movements. I have a light here. This is my little illuminated thumb. Now it's important that you look towards me, head steady. Okay and now focus on the light. Follow this light. And keep your head as still as possible. Just report any ocular pain or double vision. Excellent. Checking the superior oblique, inferior oblique, superior rectus, medial rectus. All six extra ocular muscles. I can just follow closer. So a little look at convergence and back. Motility appears fine. You're not reporting any diplopia or ocular discomfort. It's marvelous. Nail diplopia, nail discomfort. Let's have a little listen to your heartbeat now. I'm going to perform some osculation. Okay, first and foremost, I would like you to just breathe naturally, but in through the nose and through the mouth, please. Okay, when you're ready, in and out, just naturally, please. Now take a deep breath in, hold it, and breathe out. in, hold it there, and out, once more, in, and hold it, 
and release. Thank you. Exhale. Normal rhythms there. Okay, and I have your last blood pressure reading here. I might check blood pressure again a little later. So vasculation of the chest. things to run through. I'd like to perform a external visual examination of your ears. I'm going to use this diffused light source. Okay, we'll start with this side. Just relax the head. First and foremost, for any changes in the architecture of the ear, or any lesions, good. And for your left ear, okay, excellent. Have a little look through the ear canal. Okay, it's not going to hurt. performing a hearing examination shortly. Okay, and just looking at the ears there. Checking for any asymmetry. I think we have good symmetry there. Just report any tenderness. Let's have a little look at your vision. We have some cards here. I'm going to 
ask you to point towards the letter I say. We'll start at a class working distance and then recede. Okay. Please locate the letter A by pointing. And now the letter L. And next the H. Now the letter V. Point to the X and a point to the letter I and a point to the letter H. Point to the letter X if possible and the V. Letter T. And now look at the letter O, please. Thank you. Very happy with the vision there. It was a binocular vision test. So we have that performed at 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres, 50 centimetres. Full marks of vision there. Okay, just a little inspection of your mouth. Any problems chewing, swallowing? Any toothache? Any jaw pain? Good. Okay, just open wide to start with, please. roof of the mouth. We're going to tongue to the side and the other side. Right now relax the tongue. Okay now just say see your dentist. Okay, you feel a soft palate, hard palate. Good. So I'm quite happy with the findings there. Grab the pharmascope again. Okay, let's incorporate the green red free filter here. I want to continue with analyzing the blood vessels. Focus 
Click on the veins and the arteries. Right, just look up. Look to the right side. Look to your left side. Look down. Look into the distance, please. Just checking your optic nerve. Just a spot of pigment, nine o'clock. Vessels are distinct at the crossings. And a nice shallow cup. Very small light here. Look directly into the light, please. And that is the check for the fovea. Please to say the right eye looks healthy. That just looks straight. them to perform a blood pressure test and then ask them to send me the results but other than that I think that's the end of your medical examination tonight I hope you've enjoyed it I may see you again next time in the clinic for some more tests